Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's video. So a while ago, there was a trend for buying wish items and I am so late to that trend, it's ridiculous. But I decided that I wanted to buy some ukulele and guitar accessories from Wish, specifically items that were a dollar and also items that only cost a dollar to ship. So I'm gonna do it now and we're gonna test all the products that I bought. So grab yourself a cup of tea and let's get started. What shall we do first? I wanna start with what I think is the weirdest thing I found. Okay, so these are the first things that I got, these little pink squishy thingies, and they are 12 pieces celluloid guitar thumb picks. So we're on to guitar first, it looks like, in this video. For some reason I was thinking I bought this for ukulele, but this was also months ago and I forgot. <laughs> okay, let's see. These are kind of weird. I've, I've never bought anything like this to put on my fingertips for ukulele or guitar. Ooh, this, these are so weird. What do you do, just find like one that goes, oh, they're like, oh my gosh, these are so weird. They're like little hats for your little fingers. <laughs> they're like squishy. I don't know why you would need one for your thumb. In the picture, it shows you need one for your thumb, so okay. I don't hold any strings down with my thumb, but I'll give it a shot, I guess. But I haven't tried them yet. They might work really well. We have to test them. They kind of have it as a one size fits all. Put them on the wrong hand first, like a dork, and already, it's like cutting off the circulation. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Oh, I have to do this. I'm just gonna put them on lightly. <laughs> I don't like it when things squeeze me, like it constricts me, and like you feel like your blood pulsing. No, nope, don't like it. Okay, let's do this quickly. Let's just play something simple, like a C chord. I might have to put them on tighter. They're too loose. Oh, pray for me. I don't know why you need one on your thumb. Like, why? Okay, anyway. <laughs> This is like the most awkward thing. How do you? Oh, oh, these are so weird. I don't like these. No, 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 no. Like it's making it worse. Okay, I have to take these off because I no, 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 no. Get them off. Get them off. Get them off. Okay, that actually made it so much worse because my fingers were starting to get numb. I was starting to not be able to feel my fingertips. And if you're switching between chords, that is a serious problem. So let's try it without those on so you can see that I actually can play guitar. <laughs> okay, here we go. My fingers still don't feel good. I'm not even gonna test those on ukulele because it made my fingers so numb. Like I couldn't feel my fingertips and then it's like I was moving between the chords and I couldn't feel them. It was so weird. It was, it was so weird. Okay, thank you, next. Let's go on to the next thing because I don't even know what I'm gonna do with these. <laughs> Ooh, I'm excited for this one. So this is a fashion adjustable ukulele strap with hook for ukulele guitar accessories gift. Ooh, I hope this works. Okay, this is a ukulele strap. Woo, it only costs a dollar, so I hope it's nice. So far, it seems pretty sturdy. So that's good. Let's go ahead and stick it in there. So with these kind of straps that have the little hook like this. So here's your ukulele. You want to stick it. So it hangs like this. And it's supposed to loop around and go around your neck. Okay, this is pretty good. This is good. I like the strap. I don't usually use ukulele straps. I just find that for me, they're not necessary. Uh, until I get to the tenor size ukulele, then I do use a strap, but I haven't tried using one of these in a long time. The thing I don't like about these though is if you do pull, so don't pull too tight when you're wearing this because they, they can pull on the back of your neck. That's not good, don't do that. But if you're someone who just wants a little something something to help hold your ukulele up, just so you feel a little bit more secure, this is pretty good. This is pretty good strap. Yeah, I'd, I'd buy this again. Well, I don't have to because I already did. And then let's see, it has little adjuster things on it. You can adjust it, make it shorter. And you can either make the strap so it's like a lot longer. And it's good that you have to kind of tug at it a little bit in order to adjust it. That's good. It means it won't just like slip right off on you because that would not be a good time. But I would say for a dollar, pretty good. Good job, Wish. Yeah, I would say I, I would buy this again. What's next? Okay, next I got a guitar strap because you can't buy a ukulele strap without getting a guitar strap also. It is an adjustable, durable nylon guitar strap in the bag. It also comes with 
little tie. I'll show you what that is for. Let's go ahead and try this out. First, I'm going to, oh, that slides pretty easily. That slides a lot easier than the other one, so I hope it does, like maintains its length. Let's see how I want this. I like to have the adjuster, this little part right here in the back of mine. Some people I've seen, some people have it in the front. I don't like it in the front because then I feel like it's right in, on your chest and I don't like that feeling. It's just me, your own personal preference, take it or leave it. Okay, I think this is about how long I want it to be. Let's attach it. Plus it kind of matches my darling diva's travel acoustic guitar. Well, it's not really a travel guitar, but I pretend that it is. Okay. Wait, that is way too short, hello. Okay, now this is the point where if you have a spot where you can latch it on right here, that's where you would do it. But I do not have that on this acoustic right here. See, there's, it won't stick. Oops, oh, my T, sorry guitar. So what you would do at this point is you take your little string, stick the string through the hole so that it is through the hole, you got the little strings. And then what you wanna do, once you get to the very top fret right here, you wanna go right through the little, like where the strings are, right above the last fret. But basically the string is right here. You can see it moving. So once you have that, you wanna go ahead and just put a knot at the top. Make sure it's a sturdy knot. Make sure you have a good knot. Make sure it stays. Then you can just put it on here. Okay, let's see. Pretty good, it's pretty, it's holding, it's, it's doing its job. Yeah, yeah, do that job. Okay. It's pretty nice, it's doing a good job. For a dollar, pretty good. Now, I don't know how sturdy this is, same with the other one, how after a while of using it, after some wear and tear, I honestly don't know what it would be like. It is not the same quality of even the ukulele strap. I would say I would pick the ukulele strap over this one again, but if you need a backup, for whatever reason or you just kind of need a strap to get you through like your beginnings with a guitar this isn't too bad i would say for a dollar pretty good if i had to buy one of these again yeah i would do it i would do it again okay that's it let's move on to the next one. Ooh, i'm excited for this the ukulele capo musical toy professional single-handed quick change ukulele capo okay let's find it okay it comes in this cute little box it's adorable i like it let's see what it's like let's do it oh it's cute i just love ukulele accessories because they're also like tiny compared to guitar accessories and i have a ukulele capo and i, I know they're smaller but every time they just surprise me because they're just so darn cute okay anyway so, ukulele capo. Let's just capo like the first fret maybe because we don't want to go too crazy yet. That's pretty good. Yeah, I like this, this is good. It's pressing them down completely. There aren't any sounds where you feel like, like sometimes if you get a capo and it's not holding it down hard enough, I'm gonna show you. It would be like that. I'm adjusting the cable and make it like that so it's not really like that. So if it wasn't holding the strings down hard enough, it might sound like this because it's not putting enough pressure on the strings. But this one, I like this. This is good. Now long term, I don't know how long this will last. It was only a dollar. I paid a dollar shipping, you know, to get it. So I don't know how like five years from now, I have no idea what this would be like. Like it feels really plasticky. It is not... Like, I don't think it's long-lasting ukulele capo, but for a dollar, this is pretty darn good. I would buy this again. I totally would. Or keep a couple of these on hands just for if someone needs one and be like, I got you, I got a capo. This is pretty good. I like this. I like this. Okay, let's see what else we got. Let's see what else is good. Okay, next one. This one is called the Quick Change Trigger Capo Key Clamp for Acoustic Electric Classic Ukulele. Okay, now this one, I kind of had a pre-glimpse of clamps. I kind of had a pre-glimpse of this one when I was making sure I had everything, but I haven't tried it yet, so this is gonna be interesting. Okay, I got pink, yes, because I couldn't resist buying pink. I got a pink capo. Oh, okay. Now, this is what I noticed. It is a ukulele capo. Now, on the picture, you see guitar. There are six strings, it is an acoustic. There is no way this would fit on a guitar. Like, let's see. Yeah, it only fits up to like, only, it only fits five strings. So, I wanted to buy a guitar capo. 
And even though this technically didn't say guitar, I thought, oh, well, it's a picture of a guitar and it says acoustic electric. So in my mind, I was like, oh, maybe, maybe they just worded it wrong. Because that's happened before where it's like the wrong title for like the wrong product or whatever. But alas, it is a ukulele capo. And I should have known that. And I kind of figured there was a good chance it would be for a ukulele, not a guitar. Especially because ukulele is in the title. But I thought for only a dollar, I'm just going to try it out. And it is pink, so I had to buy it naturally. So let's try this one too. Oh, <laughs> I'm clumsy, I think. I don't think this holds it down as well. Let me try it again. It's not holding down the last string very well at all. Let me compare it to the one that I really like that I just bought. So again, here's the pink one. Do you hear how it's just not holding it down all the way? It should be more like this. Okay, so this, I like this one a lot. I, I buy this one again. Actually, I might do that right after filming this video. Okay. But hear how there's no buzzing on any of these strings. And then you compare it to this pink one that I wanted to work because I like pink. It's just, it's not holding the string down hard enough. So I, I wouldn't buy this one again. Dang it, I wanted it to work. So I'm sorry, pink ukulele capo. The answer for this one is no. I'm, I know, I'm very sad. Why are the pink things not working? First it's the pink fingertippy things, and now it's the pink capo. Pink, you have to redeem yourself. Okay, let's keep going, let's move on. Ooh, I'm excited for this. I've always wanted to buy these finger picks, but I never have, but I saw them for a dollar, and I was like, perfect. And from the musicians that I know, they mainly use this for banjo. I could be completely wrong. I just never used them personally. They're more for finger picking. I'm just gonna use this straight up on um, my guitar. Or the ukulele, I'm not sure. Four pieces, good, I got I got four pieces here. So they don't really fit on my fingers. We might not be able to do this video. So basically you put them on your fingertips. They have like long nails, yeah. But these don't really fit me very well. What size did I buy? I think they only have one size. So they don't all fit and I'm really sad because I really like this rainbow one, but it doesn't fit any of my fingers, so. Ah! So I'm just screwed. I may have to um, find a banjo player and be like, you want these, yo? Okay, let's try them on the ukulele. I have to say though, I do like the thumb one. If you're someone who is always losing your picks and they slip off, which I think all of us do that, it happens to all of us. I, I do like this. Now provided, I have never bought these before, so this is gonna be a learning experience. But I've always wanted to try them. I figured I'd buy them for this video anyway. If anything else, they make cool like percussion. Um, I don't like things like this on my fingertips. I learned that with the pink little squishy thingies that I did at the beginning of this video. But I kinda like this thumb one. Cause you, all you have to do is like slide your finger across. It's kinda like if you were to strum with your thumb anyway, you can just use this. I kind of like that. I think that for the one size fits all, especially because they say they're adjustable, they're really not adjustable. There's really not a way to adjust these and they're not one size fits all, even though that's kind of like how they make them look. Um, I do like the thumb one though. I think I'm going to continue to use this one. They just feel like they don't fit very well. And I feel like for something like this, you need to find a good fit. I feel like for something that's supposed to feel like an extension of your fingers, it needs to fit really well, and so I would rather spend a little bit more money to get something that can be adjustable in order for it to feel like an extension rather than to buy something cheap as like, oh, it'll get me through it. Because it might not fit you, and then you're kind of like, well, what do I do now? Okay, what's next? What's next? Next we have, where is it? It's a one pieces black guitar headstock pick holder rubber plus two pieces mixed guitar picks. New. 
So that's good. You're not buying something used. Oh, it's like squishy. It says it's mixed guitar picks, but mine are the same exact color. I feel kind of gypped from the color experience. But that's okay. I like green. I like green. According to the picture, you take the picks and kind of like slide them right in there and it's supposed to hold. I feel like it would fit better the other way around, but that's just me. Okay, let's put this on the guitar. Let's see, how do you... Okay. Oh, it fits. That's so cool. Okay. Now you just kind of stick the picks on in there. And ready to go. I feel like these would come off really easily though. Maybe not. I don't know. I should try this at my next gig just to see what happens. Oh, and now if someone's doing the lawn, this video must continue. It'll just be some background noise. So it looks like what you do is you take this cute little little squishy thingy, you take it and you slide it right on from the top all the way down to the bottom. Like that. Take your picks, stick them in there, and you're good to go. Yeah. I would say I think this is a pretty cool idea. I like the idea of like strumming and you could be like, oh I'm gonna get my pick, and then you just kinda keep going. And if you're like, oh I dropped it or threw it away. You could just be like, I got another one. They seem to stay on there pretty well. In the heat of battle, when you are playing your song and you're moving around, I don't know if these are gonna fall off or not, but if you're someone who generally doesn't like move around too much, I think you'll be okay with these staying right where they are. But for a dollar, for a cute little accessory thing, I don't think it's bad. There are worse things you could spend your money on. This is definitely, uh, yeah, this this is much better. <laughs> this is much better. I like this. Something that's useful. I like it. Okay, let's see what's next. Okay, now we are on to the picks portion of this video. First pick, personal hard accessories, three millimeter personalized musical ukulele pick. So from the picture, it looks like you get like a ton of picks, right? You get like, I don't know how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. From the picture, it looks like you get a lot of picks and you're paying a dollar. So you're like, cool, I get all of these picks. That's awesome, man, right? Well, then you open the bag and there's two picks. Now don't get me wrong, for ukulele picks, especially for like felt ones, I've seen them anywhere. Like you can buy them for a dollar and that's not uncommon, but these aren't even felt. What are, are these felt? They look kind of felt like in the picture, but they're not. Okay, let's try. <laughs> Yes, they're not felt. I should have known better because they don't say felt, but I, they looked felt to me. They are pretty nice. For a ukulele, I don't mind them. I'm kind of bummed they end up being like a dollar each once you include shipping because I feel like if they were more like an actual felt because the, these, are, these are not felt. Okay, let's try the guitar since it says ukulele and guitar in the title. Oh, these are pretty good. I do like them because they are thicker. You can see like here's a regular pick. You can see how much thicker they are, like the difference. So they are pretty thick. Honestly, I I don't know. I don't know what to think about these. I don't act I don't absolutely love them, but I don't hate them either. I don't know. I might buy these again, I might not. I'm gonna leave my review with that. Moving on, I got these super cute Pikachu picks. I couldn't resist. They were, they were Pikachu. I had to buy them. You do get 10 of them in a pack. They're so cute. I wanted them so bad. They're Pikachu. So for a dollar for 10 of them and they were the 0.71 size pick and that's in my opinion that's my favorite kind of pick. I don't like them when they're too like they're too soft and flexible. I don't like them when they're too hard either. I like them like kind of in the middle. Kind of sort of bendy. Everyone has a different preference. Totally fine. But this is my favorite size. So these are adorable. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so I mainly bought these because I thought they were cute. I don't even know if I care if they work or not. But let's try it. Let's do it on ukulele first, just because we can. It works. It does. It's, it, it's a pick. It does what it's supposed to. Okay, let's try a guitar. Yep, it does its job. It's a pick. There's nothing crazy to report on this. Okay, let's see what's next. Next. 10 pieces musical accessories, personal new wood grain guitar picks, plectrums. Now, I was hoping these would actually be made of wood. I don't know. Let's see. Let's test this. No, they are not wood at all. No sorry, they are the same material as everything else. All right, let's test these out. Yep, they're picks. 
pick. That's what they do. They feel pretty good. Okay, I got one more kind of pick too. These are 10 pieces of musical garden home, various blooming flower guitar picks. Ooh, these are really pretty. Now these are thicker. This you could only buy in the 1.0 size, so they are a little bit thicker than what I would have wanted. <laughs> So they're picks, they get the job done. But I thought they were so pretty for a dollar to get 10 of them. I think I'm gonna use these for jewelry or some other type of thing as well. Cause I honestly, I think they're too pretty to use as picks, but um, as picks, they, they do what they're supposed to. They do pick, they do pluck, they do all the things. Yes, I would buy these again. Anyway, that is my video for today. I hope you guys liked this. Now you can see some of the things you can buy on Wish for a dollar for ukulele and guitar. And I hope you guys had fun with me drinking the tea. Cheers. <laughs> and that's about it for today. I hope to see you all in my next video. Have a good rest of your day. Peace out. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.